Hi, today as a part of our final project for the course CS5593 Data Mining from the School of Computer Science, University of Oklahoma. We are going to present this video about our application. We have developed an application that classifies Amazon product reviews using sentiment analysis. These are the table of contents that we are going to talk about in this video. The aim and objective of the project, an introduction to a text classification, the description of the data set we have used, the pre-processing steps involved, the system model we have used to train our models, the algorithms we have used for the project, the results and analysis from all the algorithms, the future work that can be done in this project, the conclusion of the project, and at the end, we have the demo of the application. To start with, the aim of the application is to classify the customer reviews into positive, neutral, and negative types. This helps the retailer in understanding the customer needs better and be able to improve the customer satisfaction. For this to be possible, we have used the sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is nothing but understanding the sentiment or the meaning inside a piece of text or a sentence. Um, if a customer writes a review about a product and the meaning of that can be interpreted as a positive one or a ne negative one or a neutral one. To perform the text classification, um, at first I want to explain the labeled and unlabeled data. A labeled data is nothing but an, a data object being tagged to a category or a class. If you can see in the picture, the first picture has all the data points tagged to a type, but an animal is untagged. To give, to have a label for a particular data point is very important for it to be classified into a particular class. Why is label data important? Because when we want to create a model or train a model, we want to use a labeled set of data points so that our model is being trained on a particular set of labels, either good or bad, positive, negative, yes or no, so that when a new data point is added to the model, it will be able to predict the label of that new data point. Here is the few steps that are involved in text classification. When a customer or a user submits a review towards a product, the piece of text is being pre-processed to eliminate any special characters and to only store the keywords and later extract the features from that piece of text and at the end using the uh, sentiment analysis, we will be able to produce a label to that piece of text. In this case, the this particular review is a very positive review, that, so it's going to be a positive review of, of value 3. The next set of topics will be explained by my teammates. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjana, for the introduction. Uh, now let's take a look into the data set. Uh, we have taken a data set uh, which consists of uh, 1.7 million Amazon electronic product reviews. Uh, we have taken uh, the data set uh, from the link that we have shown here and our data set will contain uh, nine attributes and here is a sample record looks like. Uh, the first attribute is the reviewer ID uh, which is the unique ID given to each reviewer and the second attribute is as in like it is a unique id given to each review and the third attribute is reviewer name like uh, the one who writes the review and the fourth attribute is helpful like for how many people the other people who felt that this review uh, as helpful 
and the review text is uh, the actual review and the overall is the class label uh, that is that will be like uh, on scale of 1 to 5 and this review has an overall rating of 5.0 and the summary a gist of the review text and the next attribute is the unix review time like which is a 32 bit number uh, which represents the time and the last attribute is review time like when exactly the uh, review was written so let's take a look into the data processing steps so the data processing step uh, we have computed a correlation matrix between each attribute and other and each other attribute so uh, and we have noticed uh, from this correlation matrix all the attributes are very less correlated some are positively correlated some are negatively correlated and some are not correlated at all uh, if you take a deeper look into this like we can see that uh, a review text is correlated to a review and also unix review time uh, and also we can see that review text is also correlated to the reviewer name a little bit in a positive way so the other attributes uh, doesn't make any sense so from this processing uh, we chose uh, we decided just to choose the review text to generate the features or to train the model classification or to give the classification algorithm so the overall class label is from one to five and just take a look next take a look into the data stats and sampling so so we have grouped the labels uh, which are on scale of one to five into three 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 categories that is one two and three the label one is for rating one or two which means negative and label two is for rating three which is neutral and label three is for rating four or five which is positive and our data set uh, labels are biased like out of 1.7 million uh, records uh, we have seen like 1.4 are like positive i mean which are of rating 4 and 5 and about uh, 0.2 million are of rating 1 or 2 which are negative and less than uh, 0.2 million are of neutral I mean which are of rating 3 so our training data we have sampled uh, like we have considered 35,000 labels from each class, like 35,000 labels from uh, class one, 35 labels from label two, and 35,000 of label three, and and combining to together uh, one or five k data points for our training. And coming to the next, uh, yeah, this is the uh, classification system model. Our classification system model looks like, and it consists of two stages. And the first stage, and the first stage consists of training a model and uh, evaluating the performance by predicting the label for known data point. And stage two consists of the model which predicts the class label for the data point of unknown un unknown label. So let's take a look into each stage clearly. So the first stage is a training stage in which uh, we'll have a data set uh, which is labeled and uh, we'll do the processing step and all like extracting only uh, the review text and assigning the labels, corresponding labels to it and that is like the pre-processing and then we'll convert that into features. Each review will be converted into a set of features like we have used the TFID factorizer for converting each review into a vector like what tfid vector will do a tf is a term frequency like uh, how frequently a term is appearing in a review like number of times each word appears in that review and inverse doc document frequency is like uh, the information that the word will give uh, about the document so our feature selection and classification algorithm uh, will combine it together uh, will be our model like uh, we'll get a high dimensional feature vectors and we have converted that to a low dimensional feature vectors like selecting only a few a few dimensions out of like a high number of dimensions uh, we have used the principal component analysis for doing that so that will be our model so in the prediction stage uh, when you give the unlabeled data we'll do the same thing like what we have done for the training stage we'll pre-process that in the same way how we have done for uh, the training stage and then we'll convert uh, into the same dimension like how we did in the training and then we'll give that to our model which predicts the class label for the data point it can be either a positive 
I mean which is uh, of class 3 which is of rating 4 or 5 or can be a neutral which is of rating 3 and can be a negative which is of rating 1 or 2 so for this we have uh, chosen four prominent algorithms uh, classification algorithms and those are k nearest neighbors random forest svm and decision trees so out of which we have implemented knn and random forest and we have used the existing libraries for the decision tree and uh, thus svm simple vector machines so the performance and evolution of these algorithms on our data set will be discussed by our teammate Sudhi. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Naveen, for going through the algorithms that we have uh, analyzed in order to choose a best fit for our application. So in order to evaluate those algorithms, we had to uh, follow a protocol uh, basically to evaluate using uh, precision recall f1 and accuracy in our application accuracy doesn't uh, play a huge role because uh, the ratings that the user might have uh, given for a particular product might not be a uh, suitable um, might not be suitable for that particular review that he would have written so the rating could be um, related to the product service or the delivery service the the customer received when compared to the product itself so when accuracy is taken into picture uh, there could be a difference in the prediction of the result and the actual uh, rating so lower the accuracy doesn't mean uh, in this case the model is not a perfect fit or something like that so precision here is an ability of a classifier not to label as positive when a sample is actually negative so that is one of our key um, key metric and uh, recall is an ability of a classifier to find all positive uh, positive values that is not finding a false value for um, a, a correct label and f1 score is a uh, weighted average or a harmonic mean between uh, precision and recall and it it can reach uh, the best value of one and the worst value of zero so with with all these metrics and a uh, couple of algorithms implemented for this application uh, we may we may be having a question of what are the applications of uh, this particular um, this particular algorithm or analysis that we have carried out so one the retailers who are new to the business can use this application and uh, figure out where they are going wrong or what they can improve with the product uh, with it could be the delivery system or it could be how the product looks like and so on and we can also use it for the recommendation systems where uh, where we can recommend a newer product uh, for the customers who have already used this product and advertise advertising brands saying uh, we have the best services uh, when compared to other um, retailers out there and com uh, competitive monitoring uh, it's, it's similar to advertising brands but uh, in a way it, it is one of the application that we can focus on so Coming on to the uh, results of our algorithm. So this is how the sample output looks like. Uh, we have uh, name and review as the input to our algorithm. And um, we also have a gender predictor here, um, which, which basically helps the uh, retailers in shaping out the business. Uh, and we also have um, a rating which is which is the aim of our algorithm so rating here is classified into three uh, three groups which is one uh, being negative uh, which has uh, ratings of one and two and uh, two being a neutral review uh, and three being the highest which is four and five so when we look at one of the reviews here which is 
Now, this is a simple and easy upgrade for your smart device, which is which is a positive rating. So it could range from four to five. So our algorithm says, hey, this is a positive review, so it should be three. And uh, when we look at uh, review here, 14, great sound, but uh, bad for a big heads and ears. So it is the product is good, but doesn't fit for a big head or a big uh, gap people with big ears so it's kind of like a neutral review and uh, we also have a review here saying this is a worst product i have ever bought on amazon so it's a straightforward uh, negative review so this suggests um, some this suggests how the uh, how the reviews can be uh, predicted using the algorithm um, there are some of the challenges uh, we had uh, faced during the course of building the algorithm and uh, we would look that uh, look into it in a future slide during the course of uh, building the algorithm we faced a couple of uh, challenges one being uh, sampling out the data uh, wherein um, we had an unfair amount of sample um, because the ratings of four to five is always higher with numerous number of products and um, training training um, unfair uh, training unfair ratio of uh, data like um, 1 million with four to five review 10,000 with a neutral review and 10,000 with uh, negative review would result in a bad model so we had to cut it out um, into even chunks and uh, train the model and um, training the model as such uh, was uh, was a little bit of uh, issue so we had to uh, go through the uh, performance of each and every algorithm in depth and um, analyze which could be the better one and uh, moving on to the conclusion we uh, coming out of the conclusion uh, the application provides the retailer uh, the rating of his or her product irrespective of what users have mentioned uh, in the Amazon website and uh, this application also provides an oversight of how many users were interested in the product, uh, which could be biased using the number of uh, male users to the number of female users. Uh, the interestingness with respect to the product itself can also be measured with uh, number of positive reviews, number of neutral reviews, and number of negative reviews received. Um, this analysis could help the retailers make subtle changes uh, in their way of approaching or handling the product uh, it could be the service itself or it could be uh, how the product looks like and so on so this is all our um, analysis on the product data um, to show uh, to demonstrate how the algorithm looks and uh, works uh, one of our project member uh, Pramod Arvind the barcode uh, is going to uh, take over thank you well uh, uh, this is the home page for our application and this uh, web application has been built for two kinds of users one is reviewer and the other one is retailer uh, reviewer is basically allowed to enter the review of the product that he has bought so if you see this uh, uh, this screen which is present uh, is actually for the reviewer wherein he is allowed to enter the name and the review of the product. So let's go ahead and uh, enter the name of the reviewer as Taylor and he says about the product that I am so happy this product is amazing so let's say there is a reviewer called Taylor and he's going to submit the review as I'm so happy this product is amazing he, uh, he clicks on the like submit button so that the application says the review submitted at this time the application has saved the name of the review uh, uh, the name of the reviewer and his review into the database and the application also uh, also provides 
the link to the home page uh, by clicking on uh, the home button so when he clicks uh, like when the reviewer clicks on home button he'll be redirected to the home page where he can again submit a review so by uh, this way the reviewer is allowed uh, to submit a number of reviews so let's again submit another uh, review under the same reviewer name which is tyler and uh, this guy is saying this product is bad uh, this product is terrible i'm so sad i'll submit so he's again directed to review submitted page and he is uh, always uh, allowed uh, to come back to home page by clicking on the home button so at at this time we have submitted two reviews under the reviewer name tyler so let's go to the other face of the application that is a retailer side so the retailer is allowed to log into the application and then he's allowed uh, and then he'll be displayed uh, some graphs some statistical graphs and also all the reviews with the reviewer name and the rating that has been produced by the uh, model that we have built and the model also predicts the gender of the reviewer so at this time as a retailer uh, we'll go ahead and register as i mentioned before the retailer has to log in so to log in he needs to create uh, his credentials so we'll go ahead and register first so we'll take the username uh, as test underscore five so i'm taking the retailer username as test underscore five oh. i'll i'll provide his email id as 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 test underscore five at the rate ou dot edu and i'm going to provide some password for this uh retailer so when the retailer clicks on uh, sign up his account will be created so at this time uh, we have created uh, an account for the retailer on the name test underscore five and we have also submitted two reviews let's go ahead uh, and log into the application as a retailer so as we remember we had provided the retailer username as test underscore five and i'm going to provide the and the password that i had created with for this uh, retailer so but I, when i click on the login page what is happening at the background at this time is uh, the application is verifying if the user is uh, existing in the system if the user is existing in the system it is going ahead and running all the models so first after verification of the user we'll go ahead and train the models uh, since we have four models it's going to train all those models with the train set of data so that's the reason uh, it, it is taking so much time the training the model uh, is taking so much time once the uh, login is successful as i mentioned before uh, the retailer uh, will be uh, will be allowed to see uh, like some statistical graphs so those are these graphs uh, he is able to see one bar graph and one pie chart the pie chart is actually showing the number of uh, uh, males and females and the bar graph is showing the number of negative reviews number of neutral reviews and the number of uh, uh, like positive reviews which are given for the products of this retailer so if you see here there are nine reviews which are which are given by gender male and there are four reviews uh, 
uh, which are given by gender female uh, and among those reviews there are five negative reviews that are two neutral reviews and there are six positive reviews if the retailer scrolls down he is actually allowed to see the actual review and the reviewer's name along with at the predicted data at the predicted data is gender and rating so uh, at first three columns of, of the table uh, are are provided by the reviewer and next two columns of the table is actually uh, the predicted data if you remember uh, we had uh, we had provided uh, two reviews uh, on the name tyler so you can see those two reviews at the bottom of the table so one review said i'm so happy this product is amazing so this review has been uh, has been predicted uh, as as positive reviews so that's the reason the rating given to this review is 3 and there was another review that we had submitted which said this product is terrible i'm so sad since this review is uh, negative uh, the rating for this review has been produced as 1 and also uh, if you see the uh, the gender prediction for the reviewer name is male since the name of the reviewer uh, that we had provided was taylor uh, at the gender uh, which are model predictor for this name is male Uh, to predict the gender, we we have made use of uh, a gender predictor library available in Python, and uh, 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 to predict the rating, we have made use of a random forest in this applications. Uh, 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 we I, I we actually built four models. Among those four models, we found random forest. Uh, you know appropriate which was giving highest accuracy result so that's the reason we made this application run on a random forest uh, algorithm and once the uh, a, a retailer is logged in he is at any time allowed to uh, visit his profile so when he clicks on uh, when he clicks on the uh, button profile here he'll be redirected to profile page wherein he can view uh, his name and the uh, email id of his if you remember we had provided uh, the name of the retailer as 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 test underscore phi and the email as uh, as test underscore phi at the rate ou dot edu and at any point of time when he is logged in when the retailer is logged in he is allowed to log out so when the retailer clicks on log out he'll be redirected to log out page uh, and then uh, and the retailer can log in by clicking on login again button or retailer login button and if you observe the home button was uh, it was disabled for the retailer when the retailer is logged in the home button was disabled When the retailer is logged out only then the home button gets activated this means the re uh, the retailer is not allowed to submit a review when he is logged in but he can submit a review uh, as a reviewer that's it thank you